All right, so maybe you're taking Queens Midtown out to Long Island. Maybe you're taking the GW or the Holland or the Lincoln out to Jersey for the weekend. Time for your first alert yeah. forecast and the details on what that might look like. Right now, if you're heading west or north, you're hitting the toughest weather. If you're pushing off to the Hamptons, let's say that's where you're making your drive right mm -hmm. now, it's pretty clear sailing for you, but we're all going to get into it as the night progresses. So I'll get you right outside and show you what it looks like. You can almost see the soupiness, can't you? Yeah. You yeah. sort of suspend it in the air. Oh, it just, you bet you you can feel it. I mean, Mugginess way up today. 84 degrees as of right now. That steam heat is in place. Now, when you look at the Almanac, 92 degrees, degrees today. Yesterday, you were 95. The difference is so much more humidity in the air today. So 92 felt so much hotter than what we dealt with yesterday. Breakaway storms are making their way through the area as we speak. Stronger, more severe storms are currently located in our western burbs, some of our northern burbs as well. But we all have a chance. I think they're going to weaken as they push closer and closer to the ocean. But they don't go away entirely. We've been feeling like 100 degrees or more for plenty of us in the tri-state area today, and we just don't see much relief out there until you get to Monday. Now, for a place like Newark, Newark, New Jersey yesterday was 100 degrees. Well, big break for you today. You were 95. Come on. And with so, so much humidity, that felt like you were well into the hundreds as you push through your day. And then tomorrow, about 91. So it'll be a five-day heat wave, if not a six-day brewing for you as well. Heat index as of right now, all right? We're in the lower 80s for, you know, New York City, but it feels like 91 degrees outside. Just look at the Jersey Shore, Tom's River, feeling like 106 degrees. I mean, Doug, I'm pretty sure, like, you're, like your face melts at 106, but that's what it feels like right now. They have not tapped into any of the big storms. They are out there right now. We've had severe weather up in Dutchess County. And how I see things working out, this whole line wants to make a push to the east as you're sleeping out there. Pine Plains has had trees taken down by the cell, which has now moved north. Uh, it's up into like the Berkshires, and it's really faded away a lot. That's a good sign because a lot of this activity as it moves from west to east should get weaker. But there's just so much instability. Until this front passes through the area, we're just we're on the fence for getting the storms, catching a break, getting the storms, catching a break. That's what you're going to deal with for your Saturday and your Sunday as well. So this is overdoing it a bit. This is showing the, the position and the strength of the storms right now at 530. It's not what's depicted out there, but the positioning isn't bad. It's just a little overdone. Just keep that in mind so that when I show this pushing off to the east and weakening some, I feel confident of that. It may even weaken more than what you're seeing here, but you will still get those bouts of occasional heavy rain and downpours that push through the area and the chance they could come with some, with some strong winds to take a tree or a tree limb down and possibly affect your power outage as well. There's the picture in the morning. Not a bad start to Saturday morning. Problem is, if Saturday progresses, I think it's going downhill. Now, by 2.30, it's only spotty activity out there. It's a little bit later in the day tomorrow. They start to erupt with some big storms. That's 7.30, and it will be the same sort of thing for your day on Sunday. How much rain by the time you get to Sunday at 3.30? Well, I'm going to make my way over to the desk, guys, when you talk about this, but a good chunk of the area sees one to two inches of rain. Let's show you the seven-day forecast and how that is going to come together. All right, in the tropics, we do have a storm making its push through, say, Cuba, and it does look to go into the Gulf, make a turn to the north and east, but I'm going to watch all of that very carefully for you. It is currently referred to as, you know, potential tropical cyclone number four. It does not have a name yet. If it gets a name, it's going to be Debbie. I think that will probably take place sometime maybe tomorrow afternoon. Okay. I mean, it's strengthening. It doesn't look like it's making a beeline to us, but it could affect us with some tropical moisture. Mm. All right. Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. <laughs> I guess.